I'm so tired. It's currently 7 a.m. My right hip kind of hurts. Good morning, you guys. We're back at it with the what I eat in a day. My eyes are burning. Hang on. I've been on a grind lately. Normally, whenever I film these, I kind of exaggerate my meals just for the sake of the video. There have been times throughout my healthy meals journey where I would just make whatever and not really think about what I'm putting in my body. And I would barely have enough veggies or enough protein in my diet. I'm not tracking what I'm eating at the moment. Like, I'm not counting my calories or counting my proteins or my, my macros when I should be for the goal that I'm actually trying to get. I'm just trying to lose a little bit of body fat percentage, but I'm currently trying to be on a cut or a calorie deficit. I haven't really done enough research, nor have I talked to a full-on nutritionist to know exactly what I'm supposed to do, but I did know that my main goal was to eat a lot better, not only for my health, but for my immunity, for me not to get sick, to have my gut feeling great to have my skin and whole body just feeling overall good. That's my goal. Even if I'm not losing the small percent of body fat that I'm trying to get rid of, I still think that eating healthy to benefit your body on the long run is still a goal to reach no matter what. I would like to put out there that I am not a nutritionist, nor am I an expert when it comes to anything that has to come with food. I just like to create some meals, find meals on TikTok and have inspirations and just try to be very clean with what I eat, make everything homemade. Tried my best to stay away from processed foods and to add as much nutritional value to all of my meals Now before I continue the rest of my day I'd like to thank hungry root for sponsoring today's video You guys have heard me over and over again on this channel How we're trying to save money on groceries because at this point affording groceries like affording eggs in general is a luxury It is insane how hard it is to keep up with your groceries while also trying to be healthy and maintain a healthy diet So when hungry root reached out to me, I was so excited Decided to look into it and offer it to you guys. Sorry, I feel like the lighting's a lot better here. When Hungry Root reached out to me, they had me take their short, simple little quiz before signing up to shop for any groceries or ready to make meals. That quiz helped me decide and create a little request for all of my dietary needs, along with asking me questions like what my specific goals were, whether that was getting out of my comfort zone and discovering new recipes that I have never tried before, saving money, finding clean ingredients, gluten-free, dairy-free, vegan, vegetarian, and just a lot more options. Now they did help me discover new foods by offering me suggestion meals that matched almost all of my quiz preferences. Now trust me when I say the ordering process was super easy. It gave me loads of options that I would have never even thought to even mention in my order. What a huge variety of all types of diets and didn't take me so much thinking or a lot to stress over. This would really help with fewer trips to the store and a lot less food waste. I have said this before, I have a really bad habit of of buying a lot of produce for the week and then a lot of them going bad in my fridge. I'm sure a lot of you guys have that bad habit as well. We're not really trained on how to do that properly. Hungry Root can help save up to 30% on food waste each week. Many customers have saved money on groceries versus having to go shop at the store. They avoid expensive takeouts or going to eat out constantly. I know I had that problem for a while. That's gotta be another one of my favorite elements when ordering through Hungry Root because it benefits you and your pockets in the long run. Grocery shopping and meal planning for specific dietary needs can be challenging, but the quiz, the ordering, and delivery process would really help my nutritional lifestyle stay on track. I feel like it'll even prevent my anxiety and stress when it comes to planning my healthy meals and trying to spend less at the exact same time. I think this is honestly a pretty beneficial way of going about your healthy lifestyle, your healthy groceries, your healthy eating habits that you're trying to catch up on. And if this interests you or makes you want to start on a more balanced and easier way to maintain a healthy relationship, relationship with food. I do have a little surprise for you guys. The first 100 people to use my code Melanie P Cruise 40 is going to be listed on the screen along with the QR code. will get 40% off their first grocery order with Hungry Root. You can go click the link in my description or you can scan the QR code. With either, you got to use code Melanie P Cruise 40 to get the 40% off. Now you guys will notice that I will be cooking with the groceries that I ordered through Hungry Root throughout this video. I will be including the produce that I got and I'll be trying the new snacks that they offered me. So this is quite exciting. Thank you Hungry Root for sponsoring today's video. You guys are literally like the epiphany of what I've been trying to look for when it comes
comes to a healthy relationship with my meal planning and healthy food along with saving money and cutting out that middleman a little hassle when it comes to the grocery shop runs constantly and feeling like I have to do all of the searching when it comes to what I want in my groceries. I don't usually plan my meals from breakfast to dinner. I usually just plan my dinner like halfway throughout my day. But for the sake of this video, I always have to be prepared so that I'm not behind. I have my pre-gym meals and my drink, which is my green juice for right now. This is what I drink first thing in the morning before I put any type of food in my body. I'll list on the screen why it's nutritional to have green juice, especially if it's homemade. I have a whole separate video on my TikTok and Instagram of me juicing this. So if you want to check that out for the ingredients, I'll link it down below for you guys. I also added some Bloom's Super Green powder to it just to add a little extra. I feel like it's not enough to have water and greens. I feel like just adding a little bit more extra to an already whole food juice drink with real fruits and veggies in it. Perfect plus to it. So, and it tastes really good with it. So I gotta chug this whole thing before I have my pre-workout snack and my pre-workout. So let's get started on our day. It gets light outside real quickly and I should have been up a little bit earlier, but hey, you know what? We're up, we're thriving, we're drinking. I'm currently stretching my leg because my left hip kind of hurts, but we're heading to the gym. Don't mind my stretch over here. To the gym right after I eat. And today is Wednesday. Yesterday we did upper body. So today we're doing what Wednesday is. It's hump day. Hello? Hump day. So I like to consider it like glute day, you know, the hump. So glute day, but I also like to add in a little bit more abs. I'm adding in abs a lot more to my workouts. It has benefited me a lot. Like I feel 10 times more stronger than I used to be. <sighs> However, I will say it's not that great to drink green juice right after you brush your teeth. Not the best. But again, my whole goal for my new little spring summer diet is to just be as colorful with my fruits and veggies as possible. I am restricted when it comes to some fruits and veggies like I am allergic to things y'all I am allergic to raw apples like if you give me an apple and I take a bite into it My gums and my lips will start blistering and itching a little bit However, if I put apples in a juice or if I mush it up or if I blend it, I'm perfectly fine I don't get it. So I am pretty damn restricted when it comes to eating a bunch of whole food fruits and fresh Ingredients and all that but I do try my best with the things that I can eat So I'm a prime example that there is no excuse to getting any type of whole food into you. If I was very, very allergic to some things, then it would be a lot more difficult for me, but I would find different alternatives and ways to get into my body because it's super important to get like specific vitamins and nutrients into your body that are solely for you, for your goal, for your blood type, all of that. So juice is the way to go. It has so much fruit and veggies in it, especially ginger. It helps with immunity. It helps with brain function, with your digestion. It helps being bloated for the rest of your day after you eat your meals. All right, let me stop yapping. Shrink the rest of this and y'all can come with me as I get ready for the gym. We're looking at this little neon green Gymshark shorts. Little, I don't know what kind of green to call this. Pastel light olive green. It's a little cold in the morning because my apartment is blasted with AC to help with like my allergies in the filter. Oh, speaking of allergies, my allergy pills. I'm not exaggerating when I say that my allergies get so bad in the beginning of the spring, especially where I live because there's just so, the pollen pollution, is that, is that how you say it? The pollen pollution is insane where I live. It's just so bad. One that I take is the Allegra because when I went to the allergist, they tested me and they say that I do have very bad allergies, especially when it comes to the outside, like when it comes to a bunch of different trees, wheat, grass, pollen. The only like drugstore type allergy medication that I should get is the Allegra since it's the strongest out of all of them. And even though it has been working a lot lately, I take it every every single day straight up in the morning i will say that it does work than my previous allergy medication sometimes the medication does not fight off pollen very very well sometimes it loses the fight okay all right, all right. we're gonna survive today hopefully like i said earlier blast the ac because my allergies need like a good airflow filtering when it comes to the dust mites in the house and cat fur so i'm gonna wear a little sweatshirt so i'm gonna wear my merch sweatshirt because it's not too thick and it's not too thin as my pump cover up this is the good mother fucking morning in gray and originally the text was supposed to be like a red but i don't know why it's been coming out in like a very peachy red which actually i'm not mad about i really do love this color 
This is the sweatshirt in, I believe, large. I'm pretty sure it's in large or extra large. I like to get them a little bit more bigger to make them a little more oversized. If you guys want to get your hands on your very own, we have a couple more colors. I believe we have black, beige, this gray, white. We also have new Space Kitty tote bags out. And we changed our prices for the shipping and handling. We realized that the shipping and handling added way too much to the retail the product price. So hopefully that helps a lot when it comes to checking out. It also has in the back... I look angry. I'm not. It's just anxiety. Nothing personal. I feel like that makes a lot of sense, especially if you're in the gym in the zone. So let's put on our gym fit. Ooh, I gotta fix this hair now. Ever since I learned that it's good to eat the green leaves of a strawberry, I want to try it now. Sugar. I only do at least like half of a scoop because a full scoop really gets me going but I usually do share half of this pre-workout mixture with my boyfriend and besides the green juice gives you natural energy I'm pretty sure so I don't want to overdo it when it comes to my pre-workout the pre that I'm using today is the Imani New cherry twist which is by far my favorite so far i know they just came out with the orange kiss one but when they were going to send it to me they said that they were completely out of stock so for right now we're doing the cherry twist i only do a little bit of liquid because drinking a lot of liquid really does bloat me a lot and it makes me need to take my pre-workout a little bit earlier so we're sticking to a tiny bit of liquid cheers now oh, let's head to the gym gotta get my bag and my stuff and I got my little pre-workout snack ready to go. I don't like to eat like too big of a breakfast when it comes to my pre-workout snack. I know that rice cakes have like close to like zero calories, I'm pretty sure, but adding a little bit of peanut butter and a fruit which has natural sugar helps with like the energy boosting, helps with waking yourself up a little bit in the morning. Hey Google, what are the benefits of having fruits before a workout? On the website eastparkgym.com, they say, unlike processed sugars which can cause a spike and crash in blood sugar level natural sugars found in fruits are digested slowly providing sustained energy throughout your workout eating fruits before a workout can help prevent muscle fatigue and improve endurance there you go cheers let's head to the gym
glute workout. And then, oh, this is a hyper extension. Straighten your back and go up like this. This works your lower back, but we're not going to do that. Trying to hit the glutes. Slight bend in your knee and keep your back a little more hunched. And when you come up, stop where your glutes feel it. We're seeing 24 pounds today. This ab workout is gonna be so brutal. I always do very comboed ab workouts. I like to just mix it all in because it makes it a little less boring to do your abs. So right now we're gonna do bicycles into V-ups. And I used to suck at V-ups, so we're gonna see how this works. So we're gonna do four bicycles into one V-up. Ooh, I just looked back at the video. That's actually really good. Next one is toe taps into a crunch. So we're gonna start off flat, but use your hands to keep your head up so you're not straining your neck. A toe tap to a toe tap, do a crunch. I'm putting my pump cover back on. This is the last workout. I'm already thinking of breakfast, y'all. I saw on TikTok this kettlebell workout. It seems more like a core exercise, as if you're laying down doing a crunch. Alright, let's go make some breakfast. It's currently 10 o'clock a.m. It is now breakfast time. I wanted to end it off a little earlier, but because whenever, oh my god, who's gonna tell me my hair look like this? Whenever I film, I take a little bit extra to get the correct shot and to like double check if my form is good and all that. So we're a tiny bit behind, but we're gonna run to go make our first actual meal of the day. I was feeling a little creative today and I really, really been wanting to make like pancakes, like chocolate protein pancakes lately, but then I saw one on TikTok and it wasn't a pancake, it was a freaking waffle and I have not used this waffle maker in so long. So she's coming out of retirement for today's breakfast. So we got some pancake mix or waffle mix. This is the um, Kodak, 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 is that what it's called? I'll put it on the screen. It's that little protein waffle mix that everybody knows. I'm not measuring anything, please don't. Don't come for me. Like two scoops of the mix. Perfectly black banana. The blacker the banana, the sweeter is going to be. We got a banana for sweetness. We got one A cocoa powder. My amino lean RSP chocolate protein powder. Breakfast is finally done. It took a little longer than I wanted it. Syrup is 50% fewer calories than original syrup. And for caffeine, having the oat milk latte uh, cold brew coffee from Hungry Root. We're gonna taste test this bad boy. Ooh, that's an interesting sound. Cheers, let's taste test. Ooh, ooh, it is creamy. It's time to actually eat, so I'm starving. I took way more than 20 minutes to eat my protein, but it's okay. As long as we got food in our system. Oh yeah, that's good. Adding my berries to it. I'm gonna have some spinach, arugula, scrambled eggs with some Cholula. Oh yeah, that's so good.
Okay guys, we are now finishing up a little bit of work. I got some editing to do. I gotta go over some merch updates. I just launched yesterday the Space Kitty Simple Tote Bag. I'll show you a picture up on the screen. My dad bought a little sample. He got the navy blue one. He says that he would never wear a tote bag in his life, especially if there's a cat on it. So the fact that he likes it and he's about to start using it on his daily routine is, it says a lot. So if you wanna go get your very own little Space Kitty tote bag, I'll leave the link down below. It has the twins and her little black cat. And it was in honor of the cat's birthday being last week, I believe. They turned two. I posted this video on Instagram and TikTok and it went a little viral more on my Instagram. I did the like George Lopez trend where you toss your cat above the camera while it's in slow motion with the George Lopez intro song in the background and it was hilarious. I saw so many all over TikTok and it was pretty funny. When I did it, I was so... Not them fighting in the background. I was so nervous to like toss my cats. I thought that was a little mean, but at the same time, it's like they're cats, they're felines. They're going to jump off of the highest point and cheat death for some reason. I don't know how they do it, but they end up surviving every damn time. So we just threw them a couple feet above the couch and they landed perfectly fine. It's so cute that they're on a moon because my cat's name is Moon. And we just decided to launch it already on a tote bag. So the tote bags are $12.99 and if you pay the shipping and handling, I'm pretty sure that the outcome comes out to like $25 I'm pretty sure and we did take down the winter sweaters and we're gonna try to put up a new little spring tote bag with a little tulip that Matt drew and funny little allergy saying around it that's gonna go up soon but I want to purchase a sample just to make sure that it's okay even having so many designs like on hold when it comes to like the sweaters and all that that's just because we want to like make sure that they're good but for the spring I think we have like three or two designs that we want to get out for the spring and summer but i am going to start on a little bit of editing as we speak oh that didn't sound that bad i don't know what the lyrics are wait i gotta separate these What in kitten's names? Kitten glorious. Kitty, kitty council are you doing? Look at her, she's becoming a caffeine addict now next to Went Doja. Look what you're influencing your youngest sister to do. Get away, stop rubbing against it. All right, I'm getting a little bit more hungry and to prevent me from getting too hungry, for lunch, I'm gonna have a little shenak. Now usually I would blend my smoothie, which is usually like my chocolate protein smoothie, which has um, spinach, chocolate protein, cocoa powder, banana, and like oat milk, which was basically what was in my protein waffles. So instead I'm gonna switch it up since today's video is sponsored by Hungry Root. I'm going to use one of their smoothies that they sent me. I think you guys already noticed by now if you watched me for a while, my favorite snack to just munch on if I don't want something sweet at all. I'm gonna have this with my smoothie is celery and hummus. Dude, I have an obsession with celery and I'm glad because the nutritional facts on celery is insane. They're so good for you, especially like if you drink celery juice a lot. And I absolutely love celery and hummus. My friends love like carrots and hummus a lot more. Like sometimes they never bring celery when it comes to hummus. They And I'm always the one that's suggesting celery, but they're always suggesting carrots. And I hate carrots. I'm trying to get back into liking them. It's just so funny to me, that dynamic. The hummus that I get is the ginormous one, the Kirkland brand from Costco, and it's it literally lasts me forever. I don't really like flavored ones. Like I don't like the like roasted red peppers or the garlicky one. The garlic one I thought I would like, but for some reason I really don't like any of the flavored like extra additive ones. So my favorite is just the roasted pine nut or just the regular one. That's all I like. And just scoop and. I'm just a rabbit. And for the smoothie, I think we're gonna do the banana one. Oh, it smells so good. 
It smells like when you were a kid that like Danimals yogurt. I think I'm in love. That is the best thing I've ever slept in my life. I'm gonna chillax and I'm gonna eat my snack. <laughs> Okay guys, I have this thing called procrastination. I have not edited this vlog. I'm putting on my leave-in conditioner right now because I don't like putting it on when it's like super, super damp. I like it when it's like mildly damp. It smells so good, I can't get over this product, dude. Miss Jessie's, please, please hit me up. It is currently, what time is it? It is now 2.51 in the afternoon. And with daylight savings, sun goes down a little bit earlier, so it's hard to tell when it's super, super late or too late. So I like to make lunch a little bit earlier throughout the day. I'm not gonna say I have lunch every single day, which I should, but sometimes when I'm really working and I had a really big heavy breakfast or if I woke up a little late and I had breakfast like let's say 12 or one, more like brunch. If I have breakfast pretty, pretty, pretty late and it's a really heavy breakfast, I don't really need lunch. I just need a snack and then I'm ready for dinner. But I know that a lot of people think that they're not eating enough and they're actually under eating and that is a huge thing of mine i didn't realize i was actually under eating even though i wanted to lose some body fat percentage it had nothing to do with me having to starve myself which i did have a problem with i think i spoke about this in one of my old what i eat in a day videos i was talking about one of my eating disorders which i wouldn't say it was a disorder because i was never diagnosed with it but i knew it was a problem i'm really bad at it. the first one which trigger warning was bulimic i would eat a lot even if they were unhealthy and then i would make myself vomit them up to make myself feel like I was getting skinnier just because I was very insecure with how my body looked and it was really weird for younger me because one minute I felt too skinny and that's when like the Kylie Jenner and Kardashian era was thriving like during I think middle school and the beginning of high school where having curves and a big butt was a thing and I was very skinny and very not you know curvy at the time i was trying so hard like when i tell you i was a wannabe kardashian like i was trying so hard to make myself believe and convince myself like gaslight myself to believe that my butt was the fattest one in the school and trust me it was like the tiniest little booty For one minute i felt like i wasn't big enough so i was eating a lot i was like binge eating i would eat my feelings if i felt sad or upset or too skinny i would eat my feelings if i was stressed or anything i just ate i binge ate even if i wasn't hungry i just went to the pantry and my and I just ate whatever was there. I ate a lot of bread, I ate a lot of sugar. I was a very huge sugar addict. Even though my mom was very strict with what she fed us and what she cooked us and what she allowed to buy for groceries, I'm delaying I'm telling you, my mother did not allow stuff like that. She did not let allow Pop Tarts, ramen, noodles, like instant ramen noodles. The like only thing that we were allowed to have was like powdered lemonade or, or iced tea on a good day, pound cake once in a while. But she was not an almond mom, she was a Hispanic, like you know, Puerto Rican mom. She had a lot of food, like rice and beans and soups and all that. When it came to like snacking or quick meals, it was just the frozen taquitos from Costco or like chocolate chips as like a dessert. She was an ingredient household mom, if that makes sense. If you guys look that up on TikTok, it'll, it will thoroughly explain to you the difference between an almond mom and an ingredients household mom. So yeah, that was basically my um, upbringing growing up. I would feel too skinny, so I would binge eat and eat too much and just eat without noticing what I was eating and eat whatever I could find, even though it wasn't like a lot of varieties of things or even like very very unhealthy things i just wasn't eating healthy enough not only was i allergic to fruits and veggies at a very early age but i was so picky i'm still pretty picky but i'm like growing out of that as much as i can and i'm forcing myself to grow out of that I just was not eating anything nutritious but then i also felt like my stomach wasn't flat enough because again the kardashian and jenner era that was the two combinations being thick and skinny at the same time so i felt i didn't feel skinny enough so that's when trigger warning i would start being a little bulimic or or starving myself like I just I went through so many eating phases and it just really affected me in the long run and it was very unhealthy if any of y'all are going through that right now please seek help with people that you're close to or a professional or anybody it's not healthy to be going through that and it's not healthy to normalize that within your life it's more beneficial to realize that actually eating more if it's nutritional and healthy for you is actually 10 times more beneficial than starving yourself or throwing it all up I learned that the hard way you feel like you're under eating just just look, look into it a little bit more with your body type. Everybody's body type is different. But for me, I think I, I was mainly under eating 
and overeating unhealthy things that had way too many calories that wouldn't even keep me full long so that's why i like to constantly feed myself and that will keep me full longer and quicker so i already had hummus and celery that's not only veggies and a lot of fiber with chickpeas i'm gonna get started on lunch which is gonna be very simple i'm just gonna make some sweet potato fries with crispy chicken again the chicken breast that i was delivered was from hungry root so that's a it's perfect timing and a little side salad so let's get started on that Gonna be using the vegan Caesar dressing that Hungry Root sent us. Some feta cheese. Don't make fun of me, but the fries did not come out crispy at all. They're still flimsy, but they taste good and they're seasoned well, so let's not come at me. Sweet potato fries, crispy chicken, and my little mixed green salad. Again, my fries are really flimsy. But you know what? It still tastes good. Before I eat, I'm gonna make myself a little healthy mocktail. I love when the spring and summer come and I'm like in the mood for like a pretty cocktail. But for our health, you know, we're gonna make a mocktail instead. My mocktail consists of kombucha and just a little bit of lemonade. Let's make that. No, 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 no. Come here, my little bat woman. Hi. My little black panther. Pineapple garnish. This really does help me save money on like getting random cocktails for absolutely no reason. Like my absolute favorite. Isn't this like not the cutest thing ever? And it's simple. This is a much more healthier way to eat your chicken. It's not deep fried in oil. You just spread a little bit of avocado oil, season it with breadcrumbs, and boom, you have a much more healthier al alternative than fried chicken. I'll dip it in that ketchup. Oh my god. getting a little tired so we decided to go on a nice little nature walk we've been doing so well with our runs and our walks for the past couple of weeks and i'm really excited for spring to just really fully blossom i feel like it's almost here but it just feels so crisp out today Ooh, there's palm trees having salmon tacos something small since i had a lot to eat earlier today so i'm already filled with a bunch of food yeah my plan is to have salmon tacos first we're gonna play some pickleball before we get ready for dinner dude look at all this pollen this is insane in every corner i go i don't know how i'm not dying walking through this like Look at this. Like, where do y'all come from? If I stuff my face and take the biggest whiff of my life, you will never hear from me again. Okay, we're back from the walk. Much needed. The weather was perfect, so I felt like it was a very needed walk, especially after eating two meals after the workout. I needed to burn some calories and get a little movement into and off the night. Usually, I prep dinner before five, but since tonight's dinner is going to be quite easy and simple, I'm not really going to be that early prepping dinner. has a little bit of Greek yogurt, salt, pepper. It's gonna act as our little coleslaw.
first off, please don't mind the air fryer and the dryer. Rudely loud. I'm in my pajamas. It's currently 7.49. And I really wanted to make myself <laughs> in this little Moscow Mule cup. And I'm just going to pour myself a simple little drink. So this is like a, just a regular peach iced tea. try out these chocolate glazed donuts that again I was in my hungry brew delivery they look so good they sent me so many treats let's try this one one gram of sugar 10 grams of protein and it's only 190 calories cheers oh wow oh wow oh wow oh that is addictingly good just one of these will really satisfy my sweet tooth craving that's just me i know everybody else is different they'll probably eat the whole thing and swallow it but i like to enjoy it by each bite and just have one and i'm satisfied Okay guys, I'm going to make this outro to today's video short, sweet, and simple because I'm literally about to knock the absolute f out. Fill up my water bottle with ice, water, and pink Himalayan salt. <sighs> That's all I need for the rest of my night. Just make sure you guys invest in yourself, whether it's therapy, nutrition, foods, working out, fitness, activities, etc. I might not be making sense right now, but I'm gonna fall asleep. Love you guys. Bye.